how to make realistic water in a blender. So, shift A, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a cube. Tab, edit mode, face select. We are going to select this face, X to delete it, delete face. And then we can go back in object mode, S, shift Z, to put it like this, for example. And the water is going to be inside. What we can do is also is go in the modifiers, add modifiers, and put a solidify. We can also apply the scale, command A, apply scale. Even thickness, put more thickness. Uh, for example, I'm going to put like this. So the water is going to be here, shift A, mesh plane G Z this is gonna be our water so we can go in the modifiers add modifier and then we have the ocean modifier and this is going to create the the water for our swimming pool so this is really big so what we need to do first is to go in spectrum and then change it to shallow water then the water is going to look like this. We can S to scale it, make it small like this. Go on top, I'm going to put it like this. And then we can change the scale of the waves and everything. So first resolution, we can put more. I like to put it at 11 here like this. And then waves, we can put less. So waves scale, we can put at 0.2 like this. And then what you need to change to is the depth. So if your swimming pool is really small, for example, one meter, you are going to put here depth one meter and it's gonna look better. So mine is like this and I put one meter. Now to do the material. First, we are going to add a light. Shift A, light, we are going to put a sun. G, Z, like this. We can rotate. So here in the object properties of the sun, rotation, I can rotate it a little bit on Y, like this. I can go in render preview and on the render engine, I am in cycles. So it looks like this. Sun, we can go in the object data properties. Strength, we can put at 10, not 10, 5. And then on our water, we can go in the materials and then create a new material and create the water material. So we can scroll roughness, we are going to put at zero and transmission, we can put it at one. And now it looks like this. We can change the, the refraction index here at 1.333, which is the refraction for water. If you create glass, it's going to be 1.5. Now we have our water and we can also change the color, base color, put a little blue like this so it looks better. Also, what we need to change is the color of the sun. It is not pure white when you create a sun, a realistic sun. So what I do is use nodes in the sun here and then in color, I click on the little yellow point here and I put black body. And then the temperature, I can put it at five, four, like this. So it is a bit yellow. Now, what we can do is we can put tiles here to create a cute swimming pool. First, we are going to save. File, save. So we can go in the shading tab. I have a tiles already there, but if you don't have one, you can um, go in my 3D resources. You have the link in the, the description to have 
more than 50 websites where you can download free textures. You can download also characters, animation, images, a lot, lot of, of things, sound effects. So you have the link in the description. I already downloaded a tile texture. So on the cube here, new, then edit preferences. You need to have the node wrangler here activate in add-ons. You click outside of the principal BSDF and then you click on it. Shift Control T. Then I'm going to go in my tiles. Um, I think it is this one. I'm going to get these A to select everything and then principal texture set. Then the tiles are here, but you see it is really, really ugly. So tab to go in edit mode, A to select everything, U, and then it is a cube. So we're going to do cube projection. Then it looks, it looks a bit better. Modifiers, we can um, apply the, the solidify modifier here. Then we can do again U cube projection and now you see the tiles then we can change the scale here in the mapping click and drag down put for example 10 uh, 5 like this you can also change the scale in the UV editing click here and then you click A to select everything and S to put it smaller or larger and here you can put the material preview to see like this or like this so i'm going i'm going to put it a little bit smaller like this and i want the line to be on the corner here like this so now that this is done, we can go back in layout and then we can put a HDRI. What properties? Colors. I click here and then environment texture. Open. I'm going to get, um, for example, this one. And then the last thing to make it look better is to activate the caustics. So we can click on the sun and then go in object data properties and then shadow caustics here. We can activate it. The water, we can click on it, go in object properties and then visibility, not visibility, shading, caustics. We want the water cast shadow caustics and our cube we want it to receive shadow caustic so we click here and now you see how it changed it looks way 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 better and you can see the caustics here and now last thing we can click on the camera or you can shift a add a camera if you don't have if you don't have one and for example the view i want is like this so I can click view and then align view, align active camera to view. And then my camera is going to be here. I can change the focal length. I want it uh, more and then GZZ, put it like this, GZRX, X to rotate. For example, I want my view to be like this. And that's it. Now I can render. So in render properties, I am in on cycles, render max samples. I am at 250. Then also you can put color management here. Look medium high contrast to add contrast in your scene to make it look better. And then render and render image. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can subscribe, you can like this video. And also I have a free course where you can learn all the basics of Blender, how to model, 
how to render, how to put materials, texture, how to do animation. So you have the link in the description. See you in another video. Bye.